Hey Zosiates! Alright, so um, this video will just kind of help get you started with some prompts and little activities when you're writing your cover letters um, and sort of that cover letter template. So if you feel a little bit lost, go ahead and follow this video um, and it will definitely ask you to like stop, pause, kind of do the activities and so you can work through it at your own pace. So kind of the big thing with cover letters, do they still matter? Yes, even in this age, you know, digital applications and a lot of places will say, uh, you know, cover letter optional, like, do it. If it's optional, do it, right? <laughs> because otherwise you're communicating as the first thing is like, oh, well, I'm not gonna do things that are just optional, right? So that's one reason. And two, cover letters can help you stand out. They prove that you're invested as a future employee and that's gonna, you know, match with the company culture, right? So in your cover letter, through your stories and experiences that you tell, it can help that employer get a sense of like, oh yes, this is the type of person that we want. They actually have these grounded experiences. I can hear their voice. Um, you know, and also people just, we remember stories. That's just kind of how we operate. Um, and so the cover letter is that chance to tell some little nugget and story that you know, hopefully that hiring manager will remember compared to the stacks of just other people that didn't turn in a cover letter or had a really basic one. So, so we're just gonna walk through kind of some steps to help you draft um, if you feel a little bit stuck. So, kind of the first thing to just do with your cover letter is make sure A, the branding matches your resume. So use the same fonts, colors. If you created a logo for yourself, make sure that's the same. And the general aesthetic, right? It's really jarring if your cover letter looks one way and then your resume is just completely different. So instead, you know, just make sure they match so it's easy to see that they go together. And you know, when it does, if it gets printed out or passed around, then it's really easy to see that like these two documents um, are by the same person. Um, Second, make sure that the content complements and actually adds to your resume. Right? Yeah, so don't just list everything because it's easier to read a list on your resume than read a list in a paragraph. So you want it to complement and actually add to the things that you listed because you don't have enough space to really go into detail on the resume. You do have some more space in the cover letter to do that. Um, and then third, make sure your examples actually connect to the position, right? So every experience that you choose to write about in the cover letter, frame it through the lens of the job. And by that, I mean, you know, think about from the employer's perspective, you know, if they would wonder what does this experience have to do with the position, right? You wanna connect those dots for them, right? So instead of just saying, oh yeah, and I presented to the class. Like, okay, that's cool. Like, that's a good experience. It does show some public speaking, but then, you know, frame it. So, huh, I have a lot of experience public speaking because I gave presentations to the lecture hall of 50 students and I will use, you know, those same experiences that I learned when presenting to board members or the community or whatever it is. So just make sure that you connect, hey, I did this thing and here's how it applies and actually does prepare me for the job, right? All the things that you're doing in college, even if you think, oh, this class isn't in my major or this isn't job training, it is actually job training, but it is up to you, you know, as a, an active learner and with agency um, and self-efficacy in your education to like understand and pick out and, and kind of connect those dots. So the general kind of, um, format for the cover letter, right? Think about the design, make sure you have that salutation in there. You have an opening paragraph, one to two is probably all you have room for, body paragraphs, and then some sort of conclusion, right? And so you wanna keep your cover letter to just a single page as well. One page, that's it. Single spaced. Um, all right, so then when it comes to design and formatting, you wanna follow that standard business letter format. So you can return to the examples in the book or all the materials posted to Canvas and examples. Um, but with that standard business letter, you know, that means you're gonna have your, your contact information, you're gonna have um, the employer's contact information, job titles, all that stuff in a nice header right at the top. So it's easy to see like who is sending it and where it's meant to go to. 
Um, so go ahead and take five minutes, like pause this video, set a timer or whatever, and just take five minutes to make sure that your um, cover letter, like the design, the fonts, everything that you're using matches with your resume aesthetic. Um, and go ahead and fill in your contact information. Um, you know, you don't necessarily have to put your address anymore. Um, you can put like your digital address, but include your portfolio, your LinkedIn, anything like that. Obviously the email and phone number that you want to be contacted at. Um, and then make a mock-up of the business contact section, right? So you are writing just a template for this, um, the cover letter assignment. So that way you can take it out with you into the real world and quickly adapt it. So I, I will be looking for and make sure that you actually put um, the placeholder. So, you know, you'll probably write recipient name and where you intend to put that company name, all the address lines, you know, make those placeholders. All right. So, as far as that opening, right? Don't just say to whom it may concern, because that is super, super lame. Super lame. Find an actual person. So for now, where you intend to put that person's name, I literally want you to write, I will find and insert a name, right? So that way you remember on your template that, oh, I need to actually find and insert a name, right? Find the division head, find the department that you're going to be working in and the manager there. If nothing else, I guess make it out to the hiring manager, HR, but just, just put something that shows you actually looked at the company's hierarchy and the website and you invested and you understand a little bit more about it. Otherwise, you know what? They might as well just forget about you. Forget about you. For young ones in the room. All right, so let's talk about the first paragraph. Think about your opening line, right? You want it to be informative, but avoid like cliche statements because those are lame and everybody does them. That's why they're cliche, right? So you want it to, you know, make the hiring manager want to keep reading. So here's just like a few ideas. You might start with a really quick story, something about, you know, when you knew you would add value to the industry, right? So whatever your industry is um maybe you you talk about how you gave a presentation to the class on some topic and that was the moment where you realized you were a strong public speaker and you really really enjoyed you know this topic and now you want to continue using those skills in the position right something that they can remember you by, but keep it focused on adding value to that company or that industry. Maybe you talk about, you know, brands and skills. So you start with, oh, my approach to management rests on and then give us those values that make you a good manager, right? And so now as a reader, I wanna know like, oh, okay, like what management experience do you have? Or maybe you start out with past accomplishments that again, speak to the position. So by meeting every deadline, innovating on projects and collaborating with my peers. I graduated with honors and will bring the same values to your company. And then, you know, your cover letter should go on and expand on some of these innovative projects and successful collaborations as they apply to the position. So go ahead again, pause this video um, and give yourself five, six minutes to just write as many opening lines as possible. Try doing a few from each of these sections and just let it flow. Like some of them are gonna be awesome and you'll probably keep them. Some of them are gonna be garbage and that's just kind of that ideation process, but just write as many as you can to kind of get the ball rolling. And then when you're ready, uh, come back to the video. All right, Hi. Right. So uh, the next sections are choosing examples, right? So in this template, uh, you want to have some like good key experiences and stories locked and loaded with a few skills so that way when you're applying to that job it'll be really easy to you know pick the ones you want and put them all together and you know revise it to fit that particular um, job so the big thing with choosing examples is you want to connect your past again with value for the company I've said it many times and I'm gonna keep saying it like cover letters are the chance for you to show why you would be a valuable addition to this company, right? So keep it focused on value for the company, not 
just you and why you want it. Like turn why you want it into how that's gonna help the company, right? Also don't just list your skills, elaborate on them. So don't just say, I'm hardworking, I'm creative, and I can analyze data. Like, okay, that's good. That's a great maybe topic sentence, but you need to elaborate. Like, what do you mean by hardworking? What, what does that mean to you? Because that's kind of a subjective term, honestly, and has a lot of meanings depending on who you're talking to. So what does hardworking mean to you and how is that gonna help the position, right? So basically pick three key skills and then provide a concrete example of that skill. So for example, if the skill you wanna talk about is creativity, awesome. Now think of a time or a project or as an example where you demonstrated creativity and it helped, you know, helped your classwork or whatever. So for example, I could say, or you could say based on this class, right? created a video pitch for a research proposal and integrated what was creative about your design that you integrated into it, uh, into the three minute design. The video is available on my portfolio LinkedIn to showcase the originality and enthusiasm I will bring to your company when presenting to clients, right? So creativity is what I, what I wanted to show. So here's a specific project and they know it's real because I tell them where they can they can find it and make sure it's there, right? Um, so you did a research proposal, so that shows that you also have some researching skills. Make sure you talk about the creative things you put in your pitch, that it was a three minute, which is a really challenging presentation style, right? So all of that is this quick, like one sentence story about how you're creative. And then the second sentence follows up with where you can find it and how it's going to help the company, right? Your creativity will bring value to the company by originality and enthusiasm for clients, right? So spend the next 15 minutes or so picking three key skills and providing some concrete examples of that skill, okay? And uh, come back when you're done. All right, so I'm excited to see your stories. I hope you came up with some really good ones to show the skills that you have. Uh, so then you just end the cover letter with the final paragraph, right? So thank them, but you know, don't be like too desperate or thirsty or anything. Um, and then restate why they want to call you for an interview. So give them a reason for them to call you. So for example, you might say, Thank you for the opportunity to join the team, you know, at whatever company. I look forward to sharing my ideas for, and then insert whatever the position, you know, purpose is, right? Maybe it's your ideas for content management or your ideas for shareholder growth or, you know, whatever the positions is that you're applying for. And discussing my experiences in, and then share the experiences that you have you know, can contribute to your team, right? So now it leaves them with like, oh, so they have ideas. I wanna hear those ideas. And I definitely wanna discuss how they could contribute to the team. And this X, Y, Z should mirror the opening like values and sort of key points that you made throughout the cover letter. So it's that review, that wrap up, a conclusion. So, you know, take another five minutes and kind of draft up the final lines and paragraphs that you want for your cover letter template. All right, and with that quick activity, hopefully, you know, you have your cover letter going. In total, right, we spent five minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, you know, maybe 30 minutes, and you can have a cover letter kind of done if you kind of just follow these formats. So good luck with your applications. Bye, associates.